How's it going everybody? Marvel Cross 316 back with another comic book flashback. Today we are looking at the Amazing Spider-Man issue number 85. This issue came out in June of 1970 and today we are looking at the conclusion to this big storyline. We have the Schemer versus the Kingpin. What is the Schemer secret? That's what we left off last issue and so we're going to finally find out how he knows Kingpin's wife and a lot of shocks are going to be, um, all I can say for right now is you're going to be pretty shocked as to what you're going to find out in this issue. But before I even reveal all that, go ahead, click that like button. And if you have not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to this channel so you'll get more exciting videos just like this as I cover more comic book um, stories. And so today's title is The Secret of the Schemer, and this is brought to you by Stan Lee, who wrote this issue, and the art is by John Romita, John Basima, and Jim M Mooney. And we also have Sam Rosen on the lettering page. And so let's go ahead now and just do a little recap here. We recall how Kingpin's wife somehow knew the schemer. We also saw how the Kingpin had fought Spider-Man last issue. Then he went to go uh, into his secret little escape route to go after the schemer here. And so now we pick up where we left off and we had the Kingpin. He is frantically looking for his wife, but we see that his wife was actually just hiding in the shadows. And so the schemer was not able to get a hold of Kingpin's wife. And we see here that the Kingpin has a lot of questions for his wife. But now let's go now and look at the schemer here. It looks like he is trying to get away from the Kingpin as quick as possible. He's in his fancy vehicle that we were introduced to last issue. We see that he then rams right into this truck accidentally. So it causes a big crash. The schemer then gets out of his vehicle. And he's like, you know, I can... Um, maybe repair this some other time, but right now I'm going to have to go to my warehouse and see if I can get the supplies. And so then we pick up now with Peter Parker. He's at his apartment. He's trying to study. All of a sudden he gets a um, ring here from his doorbell, and it just so happens to be Captain Stacy and Gwen Stacy, and they're paying um, Peter Parker a visit here. And the reason for this is basically that Captain Stacy has a important an important question for Peter Parker, and that is basically how is he able to take these successful photographs of Spider-Man? He's the only one that's able to get these, um, you know, great shots of Spider-Man. And so, how is that? And we see that Peter Parker is like, oh, it must have been just luck. But then it's, we see that that Captain Stacy is getting more and more suspicious of Peter Parker, and he thinks it's more than just look. It might be a coincidence. So now Peter Parker once again is getting frantic about this, and so he's going to try to change the subject. He says, uh, I need to go to my dark room and look at the pics. I'll be right back. And so we see that Peter Parker is trying to come up with a way to cause them to leave his own apartment because both Gwen Stacy and Captain Stacy are getting too suspicious. So we see that Peter Parker then changes to Spider-Man and what he's going to do is he's going to swing into the window and then he's going to basically say that Peter Parker and Spider-Man are in connection together, that they're working together, and that Peter Parker owes Spider-Man money. And so we see here that that causes Gwen Stacy and Captain Stacy to leave Peter Parker's apartment. And they're going to have to get out of the way. They even see that Spider-Man is looking from a distance. And so Spider-Man was successful in allowing them to buy in to that story. So now let's catch up with Kingpin and his wife. And we see that the Kingpin is looking through the Daily Bugle picture, you know, the Daily Bugle newspaper, and he sees something very shocking here. And what we see in this newspaper is that K 
Kingpin's wife, Vanessa, helped the schemer get away in this sliding panel. So why did she do that? Why in the world would Kingpin's wife do that? And she says, you just got to trust me. You just got to trust me. And um, Kingpin is just heartbroken over this. So a lot of things are starting to unravel here. I'm going to leave you in suspense for now, but you'll soon find out why she did that. And so we see that Spider-Man then comes across the schemer's car here. And um, he tries to look at some of the things. And all of a sudden it blows up. And Spider-Man lands into a heap of snow here. Um, and, and his spider strength was able to cope with that huge explosion. He hears footprints. And it just so happens to be the schemer. He's in his lab. Spider-Man then shines his spider um, logo here. So now the schemer is caught. We're going to see a great battle scene between Spider-Man and the schemer here. Um, pretty awesome stuff. The schemer has so many different weapons on his in his artillery, basically. It was like, he has a, so many guns and different kinds of swords and stuff that he can use. He even uses this grenade um, right here. It's a smoke grenade. So it basically causes Spider-Man's spider sense to become dull here. So now Spider-Man is caught in all of this right now. We see that then Captain Stacy and Gwen are going to return back to Peter Parker's apartment to check on Peter because uh, Gwen tried to phone Peter and he didn't answer the phone. So now they're all worried. And so that's how we're going to leave this situation. We'll see if it picks up a next issue um, and more the drama will unfold more, more than likely next issue. But right now we're going to focus on this big secret of the schemer. What is this secret all about? So once again, Spider-Man is going to use his web to his own um, advantage here. And he's going to clear out this smoke here. We see that the schemer is then going to try to get away. We see that he then dives through the window. He's about to fall to his death. Spider-Man then saves the schemer here. And we're going to see that then Spider-Man, as we saw, Spider-Man's wanting to collect this money. There's a, a bounty on the schemer here. And so what we're going to find is something even more shocking here. And that is that the kingpin was the one that put the newspaper ad out um, and basically put the schemer's uh, notice on the newspaper here. It's, he's the one that's involved. He's the one that's going to basically wanting the, the, the schemer in his own grasp. So it was all a big scheme here to finally get somebody to bring the, the schemer to the kingpin. That was his biggest plan here. It wasn't about giving a civilian money. It was about kingpin getting his revenge on the schemer here. Then he clicks this button. Spider-Man is then enveloped in this huge magnetic net here. And it's closing in on Spider-Man while the Kingpin is going to then question the schemer here about his connection with his wife as well as why he wanted to take over Kingpin's leadership of the underworld. And so we then see that the schemer is going to finally reveal a little bit more of what we don't know. And that is he brings up Kingpin's son, Richard. He's talking about how he loved his son, or his son loved his own father, but then his son found out that his father was actually a kingpin crime czar. And so that's how, remember, we recall how kingpin's son died last issue? Well, we're soon going to find out that, in fact, he didn't die, and we, we're soon seeing, look at this mask here, hmm, what's that about? And so we see that the schemer had planned this from day one. And so Kingpin's like, how do you know my son? How do you know Richard? And we see that the schemer then is like, are you so blind? Are you so obsessed with your own mad hatred that you still don't know? Can't you see? Haven't you guessed? And then we see the big revelation here. The schemer is actually Richard Fisk. That's right. It is the Kingpin's son. The Kingpin's son is the schemer, and we see that this has such an effect on the kingpin that it causes him to go in a state of shock. And I mean, he is just staring into empty space here. We see that then Spider-Man is going to be able to break the magnetic um, net here. And Spider-Man then noticing that the kingpin 
is just so dazed and so shocked that he's not even focusing on Spider-Man. So Spider-Man then leaves the scene, allowing the family to reunite. And so maybe we'll see the Kingpin fight Spider-Man in the future. But for now, that's how we conclude this big story with the schemer. And we finally were revealed as to who the schemer was. And so that's how we end this issue. Next time, we're going to be looking at an appearance of the Black Widow. Spider-Man comes across the Black Widow um, next issue. So that'll be pretty exciting. I hope to see you there. And until next time, keep reading comics. <laughs>